Hey everyone, this is Kyle from the Jones Assembly. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make the fried okra. Um, so to start you're going to need uh, all-purpose flour, masa, which is corn flour, um, cornmeal. Uh, this is a mix of dried tarragon, thyme, bay leaf, um, and then black peppercorn. Uh, and then corn starch. And then here's our okra. For the okra, you can cut it however you want. This is just how we do it at the Jones. Um, just long, on, on the bias. Um, so just long pieces. Um, but it's all kind of just preferential. So, um, to start, you're gonna wanna soak the okra in the buttermilk and hot sauce. This is a Louisiana style hot sauce, but it's just kind of whatever you would prefer. Um, just mix that up. And then um, you're just gonna soak the okra for a minimum of 15 minutes. The longer you soak it, the more flavor from the hot sauce will come through. So it's just kind of whatever you want to do on that end. Um, get all of that in there. Um, so we'll just set that aside and let this soak for probably 20, 30 minutes and see how it goes from there. So at this point, the okra has been soaking for probably about 30 minutes. Uh, so we can go ahead and put it into our our dredge. Uh, and I'm just letting a lot of this buttermilk drain off of it. Uh, just kind of spread it out, cover it completely. I'm just mixing it up, um, trying to get the okra completely coated um, so that there's no bare spots of okra. Um, if there are, those spots will burn a little bit quicker in the oil. So you just want to make sure they're completely covered before they go in the oil. Um, and at this point, you can either go straight into the oil or if you're doing a bunch, you can freeze some of it and it stays good for a long time. So uh, since this can be a fairly time consuming project, if you want to, if you want to do a whole bunch at one time, um, you can always just freeze it. So. And now we're just going to go straight into the oil. I'm shaking off quite a bit of the, of the cornmeal dredge. Um, if there's a lot of excess flour and and cornmeal, it'll burn the oil. So then your okra will taste burnt when it's ready. That's what we're trying to avoid. And this will bubble pretty good. Um, so you don't want to have more than about half full in your pan. Um, otherwise it might overflow. And the oil is at about 375. Um, the okra will cook for three or four minutes. So after the okra has been in for 30, 45 seconds, you want to stir it around a little bit, um, just to kind of break it up a little bit. That way the okra doesn't all stick together in a big clump. If you if you move it around before, then you run the risk of a lot of the flour falling off of the okra. Um, and then you'll end up with, with burnt okra. So um, just be patient, let it cook a little bit, and then move it around. We're at like three, three and a half minutes. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull it, pull it out. Uh, got a nice golden brown color, it's pretty crispy. So I'm just gonna go straight onto a paper towel. Assembly Okra. So once again guys, thanks for watching. Um, 
please check out our GoFundMe page, uh, Pro Save the Day. All of the donations will go towards our employees that have been kind of waiting for us to be able to open back up. So please go check that out. Uh, every donation of $10 or more will get you a free Frosé or anything of lesser or equal value on the menu. So um, please go and donate and thanks for watching.